Mother, there is a looming biological connection defying all anyone has ever told me about you, Mother. I don't see you as the monster that everyone tries to paint you as. You are severely mentally ill and pills don't find their way down your throat as much as they should. I remember the time you admitted yourself into a mental institution the day before my birthday. The lack of promised Imperial Dragon hurt then, but now the lack of a mother hurts more. You were a friend, not a mother, but mother, I don't blame you. Pain drives people differently, and I want to tell you I still love you and I will still try for you, mother. I remember all those days long ago and how exponentially we have changed. You've lost all that weight, and you started talking to Linda again, and I cannot tell you how proud I am of you. Then I remember when you affirmed all my beliefs. The congestion on I-5 intensified that silence so much it was unbearable. I remember winning against you in Diddy Kong Racing, but in that instance, mother, I felt the winning cease. It is not just 390 miles that separate us because if God himself told you to stop loving me, would you, mother? I feel like I should trust you. Can you change for me or do I have to hide my insides for you? You've already lost so many people that are important to you. I don't want to be another mother. I'm here for you, mother. I'm just unsure if I should be or if you can do the same for me in the way I need. The care packages with tea and pencils are nice, but maybe if you can supply what I really need, I'll give you my mailing address after college. I don't know where this will go, mother, but I hope for the best. I still love you and I'm still here, mother, despite all the pain, mother.